<clears throat> so, do you recognize this building? Obviously, who own, whoever owns that building uh, must be making a lot of money. And if you, uh, given the what we do uh, for a living, if you guessed Big Pharma, pharmaceutical manufacturer, yes, you're right. That's uh, part of the Novartis building. This is a more conservative part of that building in Basel, Switzerland. <clears throat> and yes, they are uh, in line. They've been making some uh, big money in the past, obviously, and they're in line to make some big money in the future. Uh, a lot of it uh, may be associated with this fellow right here, Paul Ridker. <clears throat> and it has to do with inflammation and wiping out inflammation or decreasing inflammation, giving a new drug for inflammation and preventing heart attack and stroke. Um, I did a couple of videos on this uh, recently, Canakinumab, Ilaris, the Cantos study. And uh, this is an update. The reality is they are going for an indication for heart attack and stroke. <clears throat> but first, um, a, an introduction, Ford Brewer, uh, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, cancer, disability, dementia prevention. Um, <clears throat> we help patients uh, prevent their heart attack and stroke and their dementia, so you don't have to worry about a cure. Now this uh, medication, Kenyukinumab, I did the, a, uh, a video on it uh, a few months ago. There was a, um, a headline story in Scientific American about this, Cantos trial. The, uh, <clears throat> basically, this is a uh, medication that is used for, um, uh, here's, some, here's some of the things. I actually went into the Alaris website and you see it's used for systemic uh, juvenile idiopathic uh, arthritis, um, periodic fever syndrome. In other words, things that um, are clearly inflammatory diseases. Paul Redkers at uh, Brigham and Women's at Harvard, he's been preaching this um, gospel that, guys, it's not like, heart attacks don't happen like... Uh, sinks get clogged. They happen because of uh, our body taking friendly fire. Um, inflammation, cardiovascular inflammation. Brad Bale, Amy Donin have, been, have taken up that and are, have a whole series of programs on prevent the heart attack gene or prevent heart attack, beat the heart attack gene. They've got a book called Beat the Heart Attack Gene. All of that was based on information that first came out from Paul Ridker. Uh, he actually wrote this article in, um, what's this in? Clinical Chemistry. <clears throat> it's basically 80 years of looking at uh, C-reactive protein. And he did follow C-reactive protein on these people. Uh, who's these people? It's um, tens of thousands of people in a global trial using Ilaris, this medication, an anti-inflammatory. This is not an anti-inflammatory like aspirin or uh, a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory or a steroid. It's, as you can see, one of the newer medications. It's uh, high-tech. And <clears throat> actually in my, um, and it's expensive. Actually in my second video on this, um, I gave you some of the uh, numbers around it. It's, uh, it was there were publications that looked at the economics around this. $200,000 per year for Ilaris Kenyamab. Now, <clears throat> uh, for those of you, uh, uh, John Lorscheider, for example, has done a lot of work on helping people save costs for drugs. I uh, followed John's lead and looked at one of the places where you can get uh, cheaper drugs. It's now on drugs. Uh, Dot com. I don't know what it is on some of the others, but it's now down to a mere sixteen thousand seven hundred and sixty-nine bucks, um, and I think it's a quarterly injection. So four times seventeen thousand, what? It's a little bit less than eighty thousand dollars now on per year, down from the two hundred thousand uh, if you do it right. 
Now, uh, you may also remember that um, I said, I really didn't think it was ready for prime time. And here was my concern about it then. It's still a concern. Um, it's a concern about uh, uh, problems that you get in taking this medication. In fact, in the Cantos trial, you lost as many lives due to infection that you saved by preventing heart attack and stroke. Now, <clears throat> actually, I have, a, uh, I have an acquaintance. I have contacts in the uh, industry. There was a meeting recently in South Florida with uh, uh, Paul Ridker attended. Uh, it's uh, with the Novartis folks. They are, as I said, continuing to progress towards an FDA indication for Kenya Kenyamab for prevention of heart attack and stroke. It has to do with following the C-reactive protein that Paul Ridker published about 20 years ago and has continued to publish about and continues to follow. Um, now, again, I mentioned one of the problems with this is infection. So as you see on this uh, website page from Alaris, they said here are some of the causes of or adverse effects serious side effects you can get with Alaris. Serious infection. So for example, one of the things they say is, go ahead and make sure that you don't have tuberculosis because if you do, Alaris will uh, paralyze your immune system from fighting, keeping that tuberculosis in check and it will cause you, it will become a very serious problem. Uh, other infections too, like uh, HIV, hepatitis B, hepatitis C. The, uh, what I've heard from some of the contacts it, it, in the discussions between um, uh, Ridker and, and Alaris, one of the things that he's going to be recommending is, you know, basically just uh, give the patient some uh, ZPAC or some basic antibiotics. The death that he saw in the Cantos studies appears to be things that happen from um, sinus infections, uh, bacterial infections related to uh, common cold. Now again, some of that's still hearsay, um, but I thought uh, if you're interested in this channel, you'd really like to hear about the, uh, the updates on Alaris, Kenakenumab, the Cantos trial, and the high-tech, uh, high-dollar way of preventing heart attack and stroke by uh, decreasing cardiovascular inflammation. Thank you for your attention.